honor to introduce the speaker. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, somebody. Come on, lift your hands and give God a good praise. Give him a good praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We bless his name. We exalt his name. We magnify the name of our God, the name of our King, our majesty and high. What a wonderful God he is. What a great God he is. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, oh God. We bless you, oh God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. We have a man of God tonight who we want to just release to, to minister the word of the Lord as the, the Lord would allow him to. Amen. We are so glad that you came tonight. We have a man who has roots in Dominica. He's no stranger to Dominica. He has been with us before. He functioned in the prophetic. He serves as an apostle around the world. He pastors Sword of the Spirit Ministries in England, in the United Kingdom. And we are so happy to have this servant of the Lord with us tonight. He's married, have one daughter, and he's here with us tonight to release what God has placed on his heart. Help me welcome tonight, Apostle. Moses Rankin. Come on, put your hands together for the servant of the Lord tonight. Amen. Come on, let's praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your voice for the Lord. Come on, let's bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come and lift your hands to heaven with me tonight. Just bless the Lord. Just worship him. Just magnify him. Come on, we thank you, Jesus. Come on, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for this atmosphere of worship this atmosphere of praise tonight we thank you for the where the spirit of the lord is where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty lord release your glory tonight release your power tonight release your presence tonight oh we ask you to come lord we ask you to come lord we ask you to move lord Move in our midst tonight. Come on, let's ask him to move. Ask him to move. Ask him to move. Come on, Ramashike. Come on, let him have room in his house. Let him have room in his house. Let him have room in his house. Let him have room tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We say, have room, Lord. Oh, be lifted up, Lord. Oh, be lifted up, Lord. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. Oh, we worship. Oh, we worship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Pass me. Somebody lift him up. 
up tonight, somebody lift him up. I will exalt you. We give you all the glory, Lord. You are my God. Come on, you are. Worship him, oh worship him, hallelujah. Oh worship him. Come on, we say be glorified in this place. We say be glorified, be glorified. Oh, we love you, Lord. Be glorified. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, just worship him tonight. The presence of the Lord is here. Oh yes, oh yes, worship Him, sing. Oh Lord, we love you. Father, we lift you high. We say, be glorified. Oh, oh. Glorify. 
Spirit move, spirit move. Jesus be glorified. 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 Oh, come on, lift him up, lift him up. Oh, be glorified. Be glorified. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Be glorified. Be glorified. My beloved is the most beautiful of my thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful. Come on, tell the Lord tonight. Of my thousands and thousands. Thousands and thousands, my beloved is the most beautiful. Come on, 
fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out.
out your fire. I'm not going to let your fire go out. Oh, I don't know how you came in, but I know how you're going out. Full of fire. Come on, take them and march. March with them. March with them. Make the fire on your altar. Never burn. Prophesy. The fire on my altar
Father, let your glory pour in this place. Father, let your presence pour in this place. Father, we thank you, Lord, Father, for your glory that's in this temple. Father, we honor you and we worship you, God. Father, we adore you tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, I see the windows of heaven are open tonight. How about Chiki? Just as Jacob saw the windows of heaven open and angels were descending and ascending and there was movement in the spiritual realm, the Lord says tonight, in this presence, I'm about to release. I'm about to birth. I'm about to release. I'm about to birth. Because some of you, the enemy's been trying to stop your birthing. Your birthing is your releasing. But the Lord says, whatever was holding and whatever was stagnant, whatever was blocked, is about to be birthed and be brought out tonight. I don't know if that's you, but give him a shout of praise if you know that you're about to be released into another dimension. Come on, church. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on, just take 20 seconds. Take 20 seconds and thank him. Thank him. He's done something tonight. Already in the worship. Already in the worship. Jesus. 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 There's the glory. Jesus. Oh, ha ha. Shike. Chains break, chains break, chains break, chains break. Ah, every cloud of depression, loose. Now, 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 now. Every spirit of anxiety holding your mind. Lord, tonight release them, release them, release them. Release them, release them, release them, release them. Release them, release them. It's a healing wave. A healing wave is going through this place. Somebody put your hand on a pain that you had in your body. Somebody put your hand. God's about to touch you right now. The glory is in this place. Come on. Come on, just let him touch you. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is, the glory. I see the angels going up and down the aisles. There it is. Yes, Lord, a fresh wave. Fresh wave. Fresh wave. Fresh wave. Fresh wave. Yes, Lord. There it is. There it is. Fill them tonight. Fill them tonight. Fill them tonight. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we magnify you. Jesus, we exalt you. King of kings, Lord of lords. Jesus. upon you.
I see the Spirit of the Lord hovering over several of you. This lady there in the denim jacket, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, I have blocked it. I have blocked it. This lady there with her hands up right there. Yes, Lord. I have blocked it. I have blocked it. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying where the enemy will try to set traps before you. God said, I have blocked it. And God says, I, not only have I blocked it, but I've blocked them. Hallelujah. For God says, the Egyptian you see, you shall see no more. For God says, a new day has come upon you and a new release of my glory is upon you. For the Lord says, now, 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 now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Yes, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Now is the time. God God says now is a time where things will begin to open doors will open the Lord says I will begin to make a way out of no way I will begin to shift things in the realm of your spirit for what the enemy did for evil in your life God said I have turned it around tonight for good hallelujah This lady in the orange, I see you with bread in your hand. I see you with bread in your hand. And I see God giving you bread, bread, bread. And as you're getting, you're giving away. You're giving away, giving away, giving away. And the Lord says the spirit of the giver is on you. The spirit of the giver and the person that would give to your last to somebody. And the Lord says because you would give your last, I will give you my last. I will give you my greatest. I will give you my best. But the Lord says the season of abundance has come upon you. The season of increase has come upon you. But the Lord says tonight, daughter, tonight, daughter, you may have walked in empty, but you're walking out full hallelujah God says the shift has begun in your house I rebuke every disease in your bloodline that would come against you I rebuke every disease in your family line the Lord says tonight I'm breaking the hold I'm breaking the hold I'm breaking the hold where they send sickness to your body I send it back I send it back I send it back now 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 Take it. Come on, worship him. Lift up your hands. Say, Jesus, release your glory. Some of you, the Lord's going to release a prophetic impartation. Shikaramama shikin. I see a weapons upgrade in the spirits. God's about to release his hand upon you tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Fill him, fill him, fill him, fill him, Lord. 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 Seven you, the Holy Ghost. Come on, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. No one's going to lay hands on you. The Spirit is going to touch you. And just like Saul, when he was among the prophets, you're about to come out another man. Come on, somebody worship him. Yes, the guy in the red, the guy in the red, come in. The guy in the red, come in, come in, come in. The guy in the red, yes, him, bring him in, bring him in. Hallelujah. Come, run, 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 run. South America. The continents, the nations are opening in your belly. There it is. Fire, take it. Take it. Take it. Oh, that man's Hold him, hold him, hold him. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Hold him. From your mother's womb, God had appointed you. From your mother's womb, God has selected you. And the Spirit of the Lord says, that this is the day where I'm gearing you up for the nations. For a prophetic call and mantle will be upon your life like no other. And the Lord says, I will raise up prophets out of Dominica. I will raise up prophets out of the Caribbean. I will raise up the ones who have bowed not to bar, but bowed only to me. I will raise up the desperate ones who will raise a generation. God says you're pioneering a desperate generation. A desperate generation. A generation who will say, Thus saith the Lord, who you serve? How long will your halter be? between two opinions who do you serve who do you serve Lord release it come on stretch your hands to him and say favor 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 come on sweet
Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for your presence here. We bless you. We honor you, Lord. We magnify you. We adore you here tonight. Hallelujah. Very quickly, just meet two or three people and tell them the Lord has favored you tonight. Very quickly, two or three people. Tell them the Lord has favored you. Come on, just greet them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap in this place. Oh, before you take your seat, say neighbor. Say neighbor. Tonight is night two. I can't hear you. Say tonight is night two. I don't know about you, neighbor. But tonight, I'm getting my breakthrough. Come on, that's the wrong neighbor. Tell the other neighbor. Say, tonight, I'm getting my breakthrough. I'm getting my open door. I'm moving to the next level. Come on, if you believe it and I receive it, I dare you to shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've got to get quickly into the word of God tonight. Because I want to release you at a good time, amen. But tomorrow we're going to go full into the prophetic, amen. Hallelujah. Tomorrow bring your anointing oil. I'm going to anoint every single one of you, amen, and prophesy to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you excited tonight, amen? I can't hear you, church, amen. Are you excited tonight, amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to put your hands together for the worship team, amen. Powerful. And whilst you're doing that, let's honor the angel and the angels of the house. Let's honor our senior pastor, Pastor Casmus John, and his wonderful wife, First Lady Melina John, Melvina John. Come on, clap your hands. And all the elders, the deacon, our wonderful chairperson. Man, she started us off. It's not my fault. She started us off. Amen. Hallelujah. Powerful. Tell your neighbor, powerful. Make sure you say it like that. Powerful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to honor everybody in the respected office, the, um, offices, family members that are here of mine. Amen. Sakafet, Dudu, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> that is all the patois I know here, you know. I'm just Billy in the accent. Don't, 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 don't judge me. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word of God tonight? Hallelujah. Quickly, turn your Bibles because time is far gone to John chapter 5. We're going to jump into the word tonight. Hallelujah. God's going to release you, going to bless you. God's favor is upon you. I feel the spirit of the Lord is in this place. He's hovering. He's hovering. Hallelujah. 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 If you're there, say praise the Lord. If you're not, say help me God. All I heard was praise the Lord. Amen. So we're going to go straight to John chapter 5. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, breaking the pattern. Come on, tell him, I'm breaking the pattern. John chapter 5, verse 1, reading from verse 1 says this, After there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in Hebrew tongue Beshifta having five porches in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water for the, an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water wheresoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in so whosoever sorry after first of the troubling of the water stepped in it was made whole of whatever disease he had. And a certain man was there who had an infirmity, watch this, 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had now a long time been in that condition, he said unto him, will thou 
be made whole. And the impotent man answered him and said, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me in the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Hallelujah. Verse 8. Then Jesus said to him, watch this, rise. Tell your neighbor, rise. Say rise. Say rise. Take up your bed and walk. Come on, say it again. Say rise. Take up your bed and walk. And the Bible says immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked on the same day was the sabbath father in the name of jesus we thank you for the reading of your word father we thank you that your word is already blessed oh god and father we thank you that we are here in your presence we are here as your people god father lord uh coming to receive from you oh god so father i pray lord as your oracle let the words of my mouth uh, the words of my meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight god use me oh god let me decrease so you may increase oh god father right now let the hearts of your people be open lord so they may hear the word of god and not and and get understanding and the devil may not take that understanding away and they may go forth and become what you have called them to become oh god so father we thank you oh god as we perfect the saints for the work of ministry that they will conduct the word will go forth with power and authority in jesus name amen come on tell your neighbor power hallelujah Praise God. What I love about this text, it reminds me of another text where Jesus said this in Matthew 16 verse 3. He says, you can discern, watch this, the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the times. Hallelujah. You see, he's saying to us, you can see pictures, but you can't see patterns. Hallelujah. Sight sees the image, but insight sees the pattern. Hallelujah. That's why I trust God because I know his patterns. Oh, is anybody with me tonight? Does anybody understand with me tonight? Amen. There's a pattern of how God pulls me out of a mess. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to. There's a pattern of how God delivers you. There's a pattern in what God does. There's a pattern. There's a method. There's a, there's a, there's a rhythm in how he does it. He doesn't come at 1040. He doesn't come at 11 o'clock. He likes to be at 1159 on time, God. I don't know about you you but uh, he's never failed me he's never let me down he I know the pattern of God he's a deliverer a way maker and he makes a way where there is no way oh come on somebody I need to preach to somebody tonight hallelujah hallelujah when you know the pattern you know that when you are weak guess what he is strong I don't know if I hear somebody tonight amen you know that when you are down he can lift you up he knows that uh, when you understand the pattern you understand you can handle your pain because you know your pain is part of a pattern you know that weeping may endure for a night oh but i know the pattern joy is coming in the morning <laughs> when you know the pattern it lessens the pain of the problem oh come on somebody hallelujah come on if he takes you to it he can take you through it Come on, if he brings you in it, he can bring you out of it. His hand is not waxed short that it cannot save. Come on, there's a God who's always making a way. There's a God who delivered Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Oh, that was the pattern. He'll let you go in the fire to so come out of the fire so that you know that you're fireproof. Come on, somebody. You've got to learn how to praise him. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, God has a pattern. Hallelujah. God's plan has a pattern. Don't just discern your moment. Discern your pattern. Hallelujah. Because your pattern is your own personal process. Your pattern is your own personal method. Sometimes, amen, we get into popular patterns, which means popular rhythms, which means how people do it. We sometimes want to do Christianity how people do it. But this is not how people do it. This is a personal relationship with a living God. You're going to find out how you're meant to do it. You're going to find out how you're meant to praise him. Oh, come on, somebody. You're going to find out how you're meant to worship. Some of us can just clap our hands, but some of us got to roll, roll on the floor because God has made a personal pattern for my worship. Hallelujah. It may be, you may be happy with two hours of church. Hallelujah. I need 10 hours in the glory. Hallelujah. I need 10 hours in the presence. Oh, come on. Some of us want to see lovely Dominica. I was in my room all day looking at the lovely word. Come on. This is the Lord. Hallelujah. And we've got to recognize our personal pattern. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Prophets know the patterns. That's why Jesus was upset with them. You can discern the face of the sky, but you do not discern the times. You do not understand the patterns of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Let me break it down to help you out. What is the pattern? The natural realm and the spiritual realm both have patterns or rhythms which allow you to identify the season, the spirit, and the sequence. Praise God. The season is a span of time where same events take place. Hallelujah. You may be in a season where you're going through the same thing happening. You may be in a season, amen, where the enemy seems like he's taking advantage of you. Job was in a season called the pit. He was in another season called Potiphar's house. He was in another season called the prison. But Job didn't complain, sorry, Joseph didn't complain about nothing because he knows there was a season waiting for him from the, called the palace. In fact, God showed him before the pit, before Potiphar's house, before the prison, that was a palace in the dream waiting for him God likes to tell you before your problem that you're already coming out that's why the devil hates a prophetic word because a prophetic word that reminds you you're not stuck in a season your God is not going to keep you in a season you've got a God who knows how to break seasons uh, even if it's sunny he can send the rain even if it's windy he can send the clouds he can break it open they were surprised on the boat they said on the boat when it was the storm was raising Jesus got up and rebuked the storm and they said what manner of man is this he controls the seasons Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you're coming out of your season. Come on, say, I don't care what you're in. The season has changed. <coughs> Hallelujah. The spirit is a personality that has identical behaviors. So a spirits have patterns. Hallelujah. Some of us in deliverance ministry can understand the patterns of spirits because spirits are personalities. So a spirit from the marine kingdom, I don't know if you ever studied this, has a pattern or a personality, has a certain way it approaches. A spirit from Jezebel has a certain way it manifests. A spirit, praise God, of pride has a certain way it manifests. The personality has, of the spirit will have a certain pattern in manifestation. That's why the Bible says in 1 John, amen, that we have to watch for the manifestation of the Spirit. The love of God has a manifestation. That's why, listen, love without fruits ain't love. Amen. Come on, peace without fruits ain't love. Hallelujah. Joy without fruits ain't love. Hallelujah. You're going to see the fruits. You're going to see the manifestation of the Spirit to identify what it is. <coughs> the sequence. Tell your neighbor the sequence. The sequence is a step or to get to an event or location. Hallelujah. There was a sequence of events leading to the cross. There was a sequence of things that had to happen for Jesus to go to the cross to be crucified. And Jesus knew the sequence. When he knew the sequence or the pattern, he was able to go through the process and he cried out before it happened because he knew the pain of it, but he was able to endure. Hallelujah. When I know where I'm going, when it's my time, I can endure. When I know what's happening in my life right now, I can endure. When I know that the enemy, ha, listen, it may be doing this to me now, but God has showed me later, I can endure. I can go through. I can walk through. I know the sequence. I know the spirit. And I know the season. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible talks about the three stages of man, the natural man, the carnal man, and the spiritual man. The natural man has no revelation of the season, or the spirit, or the sequence. He just only knows natural things. He's limited by five senses. Hallelujah. And so he feeds what he knows. He feeds his five senses. You tell him, go to church. He goes, no, sir. I'd rather listen to my soul car. The natural man thinks whining is better than praying. Hallelujah. The natural man thinks winding up and down is better than singing songs to Jesus because he knows about feeding the flesh, feeding the emotion, and he limits his understanding of season, spirit, and sequence. So the natural man is always limited. It's the most limited version of man. 
The carnal man is the man who's come out of the natural state. He's accepted Jesus Christ as his, born, his Lord and Savior. But the natural man has not the spiritual mind. He has a born again spirit but a carnal mind. Hallelujah. And the carnal mind is enmity. is against God. The carnal mind will come against the Lord. The carnal mind makes you a halfway Christian. Makes you a lukewarm Christian. One foot in. One foot out. Which means you whine on a Monday. But you pray on a Sunday. Which means you might whine on a Tuesday. And you pray on a Sunday you got your mind mixed up and God says a lukewarm person I've got to spew out of my mouth tell your neighbor that's limited he's limited they're limited but the spiritual man has full understanding of the season the spirits and the sequence full understanding understanding is knowing reason and purpose Wisdom is knowing the differentiation between two things. So if you have wisdom, you can tell which one is the bottle and which one is the cloth. When you don't have, when you don't have wisdom, you'll be drinking from the cloth and wiping your face with the bottle. And the devil is so wicked, he'll make you so dumb in your own understanding that when you're doing this, nobody can tell you you're doing the wrong thing. Boy, can't you see what you're doing? No, 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 leave me alone. I've met some people who are so wise in their own understanding, they're very happy destroying themselves. Come on, somebody. Let me be real in here. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor the season, the spirit, the sequence. Hallelujah. That's why in a sorrowful season, you can't get sad. Praise the Lord. Because the spiritual man has mastery over his emotions. Because your emotions are following what happens in your timeline. They're reacting. But the spirit man comes out of his time. He stands where God is. God stands outside of time. So he looks at himself and he says, we can get through this. Don't cry. I see where we're going. Don't cry. I see where we're going. Praise him. Hallelujah. In fact, the spiritual man understands it's vital to praise your way out. It's vital to praise your way in. It's vital to praise your way up. I don't know if I'm here talking to somebody. It's vital to worship and get yourself in the presence. Look out the presence, there ain't no power. The spiritual man is wise. Praise God. That's why we can't stay home watching TV services. There's no presence in your house. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you the truth. Jesus said to them, perimenos. <coughs> perimenos was wait, but wait specifically here in Acts chapter 1. He said in perimenos, wait here for the coming of the Holy Ghost. Which means the Holy Ghost had a location to come. Hallelujah. When we're not wise, we're now missing and then we're letting ourselves go away from the gathering of the brethren. Because we think that we've been taught that you can have a party for one. But I don't know how, if you understand this. Some demons need a thousand. Some demons need 10,000. That's what the law says. If one can put a thousand to flight, two can put 10,000 to flight. When you come together, it affects the nation. When you come together, it affects the region. When you come together, it affects Goodwill, Rosal, Potsmouth. It affects all of them. Some of us rather sit home, scratch our belly, and click on PPFC. Scratch your belly outside like this. Put your, put your dash in on your belly. Good preaching, pastor. Good preaching, pastor. The word delivers your mind. <laughs> but you need the spirit to break the yoke. The anointing breaks the yoke. When you're in the presence of God, when you're in the house, the yoke must break. Come and tell your neighbor, don't eat dashing on your belly. <laughs> I, pastor, I called some people from my church. I said, where are you? We're watching you from home. I said, listen, there's no oil at home. I'm not laying hands at your home. I'm not delivering you from your home. So when the demon comes to your home, get somebody, get somebody to come to your home to deliver you because I'm not delivering you. There's a hedge of protection in a consecrated place. 
Some spirits can only go to the door. They can't come in the temple. Some spirits can't come through the back door. When you're in a consecrated place, a holy place, you're going to take off your shoes from the ground like Moses had to do because the place was holy, untouchable from the enemy. When you're in the house of God, the enemy can't touch you, can't hold you. Come, oh, come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor, make sure you come to church. I'm going to chase you down. <laughs> Hallelujah. See the pattern. The pattern. See the Bible says about this man by the pool of Bathsheba. Amen. The man by the pool of Bathsheba. Listen, watch this. He's by the pool but he can't see the pattern. Hallelujah. And you see you need to discern your patterns produce your problems. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's not God, it's your pattern. Sometimes it's not your pastor, it's your pattern. Sometimes it's not outside, it's your pattern. Because not only does God have a pattern, but you have a pattern. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says, do not be conformed, but be you what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because when you was in the world, you had a pattern. When you're the carnal man, you had the pattern. Now you have to renew your mind at the spiritual mind of man of God. And you've got to adjust to God's pattern. Hallelujah. How can he be at the pool of Bathsheba? The Bible said at a certain time, a certain season, healing was in the pool. Hallelujah. Healing was in the pool. And he was there 38 years. When you're at the right place, at the right time, with the right angels, with the right pastor, with the right worship team, with the right preachers, with the right people. Hallelujah. And you're still not getting your breakthrough. It's not the place, it's your pattern. It's not the spirit of God. It's not even sometimes the devil. It's the pattern of your mind. Hallelujah. That's why some people get born again spirit, but they don't renew their mind. So their born again spirit is a little bit of a weird spirit. It's a strange spirit. I don't know if you met someone that's strange for who see demons everywhere. Pastor, I see a demon in that fan, you know. Don't let it blow on me. The demon is blowing at that fan and hitting my head. Poi, 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 poi. I said, hey, why did Usher put me there for the demons to blow my head? Because now your mind is not renewed. You're spiritual, but you don't have revelation of season, spirit, and sequence. Hallelujah. People of a mind pattern will hang out together. Praise God. I'm a, are you with me today, church? I'm helping you. People of a mind pattern will hang out together. They all needed breakthrough. Look at his crew. His crew was in verse 3. He said, for impotent folk, blind, halt, withered. Imagine that's your friends. Impotent folk, blind, halt, and withered. Everyone's broke. You need 10 EC dollars. I don't have it. Ten, I don't have it. I don't have it. And what happens when your, your, your company produce a mindset which is acceptable to you? So he didn't understand. When the Bible says, come out from among them and be separate, God's trying to renew your pattern. When God says, come out from among them, I'm going to bless you. Uh, he's trying to renew your pattern. He, when the Lord took Saul and, and was making him poor, he had to make him blind of his own pattern. He goes, I'm going to renew your mind so you can see how to access the power of God. I'm not going to let you be waiting 38 years for your season. Some people are waiting for breakthroughs. God promised them. Because you're still waiting on God, but God's waiting on you. He said, come to church on time. You don't. Serve in the house. You won't. Don't forsake the gathering of the brethren. You don't go to church in five years. The word has not become part of your pattern. So now you are talking spirit, your spiritual with, with this natural carnal mashup in your head. And your crew is blind, impotent folk. And people like that will never understand the pattern of Christ. 
they will never understand loving your neighbor as yourself. People of a certain mindset don't ever go and graduate into the full understanding. You see, that's why he had the problem that nobody was helping him into the water. When you're around selfish people, you've got to expect the pattern of selfishness to manifest on you. Suddenly, we're all about number one. Suddenly, we're all just about ourselves. Suddenly, we're all about just helping our, our own agenda. When we're together, we could have helped each other get into the water. Sometimes I talk to churches, I say, listen, you could all work together, put a thousand EC dollars, you know, you could buy a bank, you could buy a hotel, you could buy certain things together, and you could all receive profits. No, 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 we don't want to do that, pastor. Why? Some of my teeth, my money. And that's where he was. He was in the definition of hell. Hell is where you're together with people, but nobody can help you. You're alone in the midst of a group. When you're going through hell, it means you're going through problems that nobody can solve, but everyone's around you. Hallelujah. When I'm going through hell, it means that I'm going through a circumstance which I shouldn't be suffering. I'm suffering by myself, but nobody can touch me. And that's where he was. He was in a place where he, nobody had renewed the pattern. When we don't renew the pattern, we just come to church for blessings and we don't come to church to get equipped. Because the Bible says in Ephesians 4.11, he said he gave some apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers and evangelists for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of ministry. So you come in here, get the Holy Ghost on you here and you go out there and you tell the people how good Jesus is and you bring them in one by one, two by two and you sit them on the pew and you say, come on, come on, come on, we're going to get some more, we're going to get some more until all of goodwill knows the Lord. And Jesus said, here's the pattern, here's the sequence. You do that, sorry, it's a sequence. Here, you do this, that you seek me first, then I will add everything onto you. So I come into Christ. I get my mind changed. I get filled of the Holy Spirit. I share the Lord of the love of God. I witness. I do the things of God. Suddenly money is coming to me. Health is coming to me. Blessings is coming to me. Ah, favor is coming to me. New house, new car. Blessings, new house, new car. What you'd rather do is come and say, please lay hands on me. Let me have a car. I don't have a car. Please, man of God, prophet, prophesy the car. <laughs> I don't do no evangelizing, but prophesy the car. <laughs> I've not won a soul in 25 years, but prophesy my house. Haggai said this, you, 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 the ha you put money in a pocket with holes in it because you left the house of God in disrepair. Spiritual men know the curses they bring upon their people. Achan, Achan was not spiritual. So when the Lord said, don't touch none of the treasure, Achan says, I'm going to touch it. And he touched it. And what happened to Achan? Achan brought a curse on the whole camp. The whole, all of us were cursed. And Joseph said, listen, we got, Joshua, Joshua said, listen, we got to, we got to get rid of this guy. Even though he repented, look, we got to get rid of him. Because he has no revelation of spirit, he's going to do it again. Until you change your pattern, people will give you money, you'll lose it, and we have to give you money again. Until you change your pattern, people can give you help and you'll abuse it and you've got to, we've, got, we've got to give you help again. Until you change your pattern, your enemy will be your best friend and your best friend will become your enemy. That's the definition of witchcraft. Witchcraft tries to make you in the pattern of the demons and you can't see who loves you and who hates you and you're walking around walking with your haters and you don't know why people betray you and stab you in the back. Tell your neighbor, change your pattern. Solve your problem. Hallelujah. When the mind, I'm coming down, I'm closing. When the mind has a corrupt pattern, you're under a demonic stronghold of the enemy. So you people can lay hands on you. People can prophesy to you. People can, can say all things. But until you follow the pattern... That's why prophecy with instruction is of the Lord. Prophecy without instruction is not of the Lord. 
Because the Lord will always tell you what's coming and it also tell you how to get it. That's how we were taught. You prophesy, you give instruction. Don't tell someone to get in a breakthrough. How do I get it? What do I do? Scratch my head? There's always an instruction. Praise God. God said to Abraham, I will bless you. Make your name great. Leave this place. Go wherever I take you. Instruction. Praise God. There's always an instruction. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach you this last thing, then we're going to go. Amen. The mind deals with the soulish realm. The thinker, the chooser, the emotion. That's what the Bible says you've got to do with your mind. Because you're going to be like the man by the pool of Bathsheba. You know the Bible don't rate you, it don't give you a name. The, but we don't know his name, we call him the man. The, when God's not impressed with you, you just say that's a man. He'll say a certain man, a certain woman. You don't want to be a certain man. <laughs> that's another preaching. <laughs> he says keep among them keep you from them and be separate how do you pick up patterns I'm going to tell you three steps you pick up the pattern or the spirit by those you associate with it's very hard to go up when you associate with people who specialize in bringing you down sometimes when God leads you through a certain path he's trying to break you away from people of a pattern Sometimes you call it rejection, God says redirection. You think they're a hater, God said I'm taking you away from those people to make you greater. Hallelujah. God knows where to take you away to bring your increase. Sometimes when you see in the spirit, the people around could not comprehend what you were carrying. So God said I have to take you out of the company and I've got to bring you with people who understand you. That's why when Matt, oh come on somebody, when Mary was carrying Jesus, the people around him didn't know Jesus. So Mary ran to Elizabeth and when he ran to Elizabeth, the Bible says, Mary's womb connected with Elizabeth's womb you need to be around people who your spirit connects with you need to be around people who your destiny connects with you need to be around people who when you say I can go up they can say how high you want to be around people who understand your call your ministry and support you all the way the moment Jesus saw people were not of the pattern he wiped the dust off his feet Praise God. Second thing, the places you go to. Hallelujah. Some places when you have been dedicated for spirits and certain things to dominate. And unless you are a certain rank and of authority in the spirit, you don't need to go to those places. Hallelujah. This is why I'm upset about a generation that's always going without being sent. Hallelujah. I'm going to go there tonight, Pastor. Hallelujah. And listen, if your pastor can't release you, then you shouldn't be going. If your pastor can't say you can go out, then you shouldn't be leaving. Sometimes we've got to trust the authorities God gives us because the authorities God gives us know how to protect us. Some people knock on my door and say, I'm going to this country. I said, good luck. I've been to that country. I know the principality that's there. I broke it. I spent 40 days fasting. How many days have you fasted? And when they come back with the, the Sanjay Shiva, Sanjay Shiva thought they could do what Paul did and the demons beat them up. They said, Jesus we know, Paul we know, but who are you? You have to be careful where you go. Because some places God didn't send you. If you go and kiss up a boy that got measles, you have measles all over your face. <laughs> you don't want to go somewhere and catch disease all over your face. You don't want to go somewhere God didn't tell you to go. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor number three. Tell your neighbor number three. Amen. You got to watch words you allow in your spirit because words alter patterns so sometimes you got to understand when the devil wants to destroy a destiny he'll use someone close to you to release a word when the young prophet was going out and doing miracles the old prophet said I'm also a prophet I know what God said to you but come and eat with me 
And the young prophet, the old prophet believed the, the old, young prophet believed the old prophet because he had a word, because who he was. But the Bible tells you he was lying to him, and he destroyed his pattern. He destroyed his process. And then as they're eating together, the old prophet says, Thus saith the Lord, you're going to die today. The lions are going to eat you up. Sorry you listen to me. Sometimes you've got to trust what your Holy Ghost is telling you. Sometimes you can't trust everything. You've got to trust, not trust every spirit. The Bible says don't listen to every spirit. And there's some spirits I can't listen to. I need to listen to a qualified spirit. I need to listen to an educated spirit. Don't tell me about the word you never studied. Don't tell me about something you've never done. I need to listen to somebody who has got experience. I need to listen to somebody who knows what they're talking about. Don't come and try and build my house if you've never built yours. Don't tell me how to drive my car how you never drove it yours. Don't tell me how to raise my kids if you don't know how to rise yours some people God the, the enemy sorry will send in your life and they will say some wicked things and you'll feel sad for days Elijah was pulling down fire one day Jezebel sent him a word Elijah says I am no better than my fathers please kill me you got to watch who speaks into your spirits hallelujah Every time, for 38 years, nobody helped this man at the pool of Bathsheba. He never changed his crowd. He never changed his pattern. He never changed what he did. He was in a prophetic place, but never changed his pattern. Hallelujah. Some prophetic words are conditional to your obedience. There's unconditional prophetic words. There's conditional words. Hallelujah, that some words will not happen until you do this. Praise God, till you go there. Hallelujah. And some words, you, some prophetic words you have to pray into. Sometimes you've got to pray through your prophecy. Because not everybody who comes to church is saved. And some people hear your prophecy and they're praying against it. You've got to pray your prophecy through. You've got to pray your breakthrough through. You've got to pray your word through. You've got to pray your deliverance through. You've got to pray and say, God, what's my instruction? How do we break it through? Hallelujah. Are you being blessed today? We're nearly done. So this man was 38 years in his pattern. When you don't do of your pattern, you make other people your problem. Let me say that again. When you don't deal with your pattern, other people become your problem. So when Jesus saw him, he said, he said, he said, do you want to be made well? Help me? Do you want to be made whole? And the man said, there was nobody there to help me. So instead of the problem is with my pattern, the problem is with the people. The problem is with the government. The problem is with this. The problem is with that. Sometimes you've got to change your pattern to think differently so you can find where your breakthrough is. You can find where your blessing is. You can find where your open door is. Sometimes you've got to not be like everybody else looking for something that isn't there. He cried that no one was helping him, but he could see his picture, but he couldn't see his pattern. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God expects you to locate the reason why you're, you're in your pattern. You've got to locate it. God, what are you triggering me to do differently? What are you triggering me to see? When I'm going through a pattern and I meet the same problem again, God, what am I doing that I should not be doing? Because if I can deliver me, I can deliver myself from the problem. If I can get free from my own mind, I get into the Lord's mind, I can break through. If I can get the mind of Christ, if I can get the spirit of God, and I can be unstoppable. If I can get the mind of Christ in me, then there's nothing that can stop me. Hallelujah. He didn't understand that this demonic pattern wanted to keep him out of his purpose. Hallelujah. Tonight, every demonic pattern must break. Tonight, every stronghold must shatter. Tonight, every demonic merry-go-round. Well, you've been going round. And you've been going round. You've been going round. You've been declaring. You've been praying. You've been doing everything right. Fasting, tithing. But I'm still in the pattern. Ah, uh, tonight, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we break every demonic pattern. Tell your neighbor, I'm breaking the pattern. Jesus appears to him and says to him, we've been watching you for 38 years, I'm closing. 
do you want to be made whole? He was looking at God. Where are you, God? But didn't realize that God was looking at him. Suddenly Jesus says, rise, take up your bed and walk. And he got up and he was healed. The man didn't get it. He was following the pattern of people going into the pool. Trying to get healed in the water. But he didn't know his deliverance wasn't in the pool. It was in the word. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Just because somebody got their breakthrough that way. I need to find out how to get it my way. Just because somebody's been doing it this way. I need to find out my way. That's why you've got to find your own relationship. You've got to seek your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because in your own salvation is your own breakthrough. Is your own prophetic key. Is your own way to get it out. Come on. How Joseph got breakthrough was different from how Daniel got breakthrough. You're going to learn. You can't follow somebody's pattern you're going to follow the pattern the Holy Ghost has set for you come on somebody hallelujah hallelujah tonight God is releasing the pattern he set for you where the devil came and destroys your pattern and destroys your process and destroys your miracle and destroys your path God is setting it back in order the Lord came to the man and said rise 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 Rise, 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 take up your bed and walk. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus said, I've had enough of your suffering. I've had enough of your patterns. I've had enough of your stagnancy. I've had enough of that sheman, heman, demon tormenting you. Tonight, I'm going to break the pattern. Jesus came to the man and says, tonight, you're going to rise up. Tonight, you're going to get up. Tonight, you're going to move up. Tonight, oh, I don't know who I'm talking to. You've been in it for too long. You've been going through it for too long. But God said, tonight 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 I'm getting free I'm breaking the pattern tonight rise 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 come on rise 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 Every, everyone on this place rise rise take up your bed take up your bed walk tonight he didn't need the water he just needed the word of the Lord he just needed a prophetic word hallelujah when a prophetic word enters into your season it changes it when a prophetic word enters in your sequence it changes it tonight Lord I release the spirit of breakthrough in this place I decree I say rise out of every demonic bondage rise out of every demonic pattern rise out of every witchcraft some of you the devil thought you come into church tonight some of you the devil thought you'd be in here tonight because he knew the pattern was breaking tonight you're becoming another man you're becoming another woman come on lift up your hands and praise him praise him God is breaking your pattern come on every power say every power every yoke every demonic force that has held me in a pattern every spirit of mind control every spirit every hex every word curse every spell that the enemy has released that has held me stagnant in my thinker in my chooser tonight I command you come and say it like a warrior tonight I command you to break off my life put your hands on your head put your hands on your head say dear Lord Jesus release unto my mind the mind of Christ let every other thinking let every other consideration be removed from my life let me bring every thought into captivity into the obedience of Christ now 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 in Jesus' name, come on, pray, 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 everyone over this place. Pray, 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 pray for your mind, pray for deliverance, pray for your breakthrough, 
Pray for your mind. The patterns, demonic patterns, demonic patterns. The enemy can't touch your spirits, but he fights for your soul. Come on, come on, come on. Break the pattern. Break the pattern. I decree every pattern broken. I decree every curse broken. I decree every hex broken. I decree every power broken. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Break, 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 break. Take your hands off your head. Say every word curse. Say every word curse. Release over my father's house. Release over my mother's house. That makes sure nobody prospers. That keeps us in a place of stagnancy. I break your, your, your power tonight. Come on, just pray, pray, pray. Break it now. You can take your hands off your head. War in the spirit. War in the spirit. War in the spirit. War in the spirit. Come on, come on, come on. Break tonight. Break tonight. 38 years he was there. 38 years he was there. 38 years ends tonight. 38 years ends today. 38 years changes today. Whatever you've been in, break tonight. Break tonight. I stand as a man of God. I release the word of breakthrough tonight. Every stubborn problem, every stubborn demon, every stubborn issue. Come on, pray, 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 break tonight. Come on, come on, push, 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 push. Push, push. It's been happening to you too much. You're too anointed to be disappointed. You're too blessed to be stressed. You're wondering why God, why God, why God? Break the pattern. Lord, change my thinking. Change my understanding. Change my perspective. Lord, change my vision. Change my, change my speech, change my ears. Give me your prophetic ears to hear into the realm of the spirit. Give me your prophetic sight to see how you want me to see it. Adjust me tonight, Lord. Everyone lift up your hands, we're closing. Lift up your hands, we're closing. If you know God, you say, God, God, I've been here too long. I've just prayed this prayer, but Lord, I need prayer myself. Run, run to the altar. Time is up. Time is up. I want you to run to altar. You're saying, God, I've been in this pattern. I can't come out of it, but I need some help. Come on, quickly run to the altar. I don't, we got to go home. Run to the altar. Run, 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 run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lord, break the pattern. Lift your hands at the altar. The altar is a place of exchange. Come on, mama, today, today, every demonic pattern, every demonic pattern that has been hindering you, holding you, is cancelling today. You've been picking the wrong partners. You've been picking the wrong jobs. You've been picking the wrong friends. You've been picking the wrong, the wrong, the wrong. Lord, today, we break the pattern. Lord, today, we break the pattern. You've been going round in circles, but today, the Lord wants to release you. Today, the Lord wants to release you. Today, the Lord wants to set you free. Today, the Lord wants to bless you. Come on, I need the pattern to break. I need the pattern to break. I need change. I need change. Change, I need change. Come on, be like Isaiah, cry aloud and spare not. Come on, cry aloud and spare not. Come on, you need it, cry for it, says the Lord. Come on, come on, come on, very quickly. If you're at the altar, worship. God's touching you tonight. God's touching you tonight. God's touching you tonight. Pastor, I need some help. Hallelujah, please. Help me to pray for some of these guys. God's touching you tonight. Ushers, come behind them. Worship team. Worship team. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Come lift your hands in the altar. Come on. Come on. Break every chain. Break every chain. Come on, church. Say. Break every chain. Break every chain. Come on, worship him. The pattern is breaking tonight. Break it tonight. Where's the ushers? Where's the ushers? Break every chain. Break it tonight. Break it tonight. Break 
break him tonight. Break him tonight. Father, release him from every spell, every demonic connection, every demonic association. I break it tonight. I break every satanic umbilical cord in the spirit. Release, release, release. Release your presence. Release your glory. Tonight, there it is, 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 there it is. Everything that whispers in your ears, I seal your ears in the blood of Jesus. I seal your ears just as a shepherd. Where's the oil? Where's the oil? Where's the oil? Very quickly. Come on, everybody, worship. Be in the spirit of me. Break every chain. Break him. There's an army. Come on. the shepherds anointed the ears no longer will they speak disappointment no longer they speak your past no longer they speak and say you will not go forward God says you are unlimited you are unlimited you are unlimited go forth man of God go forth man of God go forth man of God where your father and your mother forsake you the Lord says I have lifted you up I have lifted you up go forth tonight tonight Tonight, go for, 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 I bring every jealous eye, every hindrance, every power. Lose her tonight. Lose her tonight. Lose her tonight. Lose her. There it is. Fire. Oh, there it is. Lose her. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. On her stomach. On her stomach. Out of your belly, living waters, living waters. Breathe, 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 breathe. Ah, release her, release her, release her, release her today. Come on, worship. Come on, there's an army. shall only go up you shall only go up from today God's bring you to a realm of obedience in the realm of the spirit he's saying daughter I'm causing you to a deeper level of consecration and as you go deeper in me I'm rising you higher I'm rising you higher at the dust of the past come on I wipe away the dust of the past I wipe away the dust of the past fill the Lord 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 there it is 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 touch Touch, touch, fill up, fill up, fill up, there it is, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the knives, the knives, the knives, God is healing your spirit now, God is healing your spirit now, God is healing you now, he's healing you now, come about the knives, every spirit of rejection, release, oh, heal her tonight, heal her tonight, heal her tonight, heal her tonight, lift up your hands. Come on, everybody, worship him. There's power in the name. To break, to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army. Come on, let's say there's an army rising up. There's an army.
the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ah, we believe that some, some high things came down tonight. I believe some high things came down tonight. Some altars were broken tonight. Some curses were broken tonight. Hallelujah. And we thank God for the victory. We thank God for the victory. We thank God for deliverance. We thank God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What a time in the presence of the Lord tonight. You know, it's just so, so, so refreshing and reassuring and powerful when we can just come into the presence of the Lord like this and receive from the Lord. I believe the Lord has spoken tonight. And I trust that we would go with the word of the Lord and with the power of the Lord. Don't be bound. Don't follow the old patterns. Amen. Don't accept that that's how it is. And follow the crowd. Just go with the flow. Some things we have to do as God would have us. Amen. And don't think that your breakthrough must come the way everybody else is getting their breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. I want to invite you to come back to tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the last night. And then we climax on Sunday morning. Tomorrow is Friday night. So we want you to be here. Please invite a friend. Come early so that we can maximize the time. Amen. The earlier we start, the more time we can give the man of God to minister. Amen. And again, he mentioned something tonight about patterns. If we keep coming late, it's a pattern. We develop a pattern. We have to break that pattern. We have to break that pattern. Amen. Be more disciplined. Tell ourselves, look, I got to, get, I got to be there early. Got to break that old pattern. Even if everybody else doing that, you have to determine for yourself, I got to break that pattern. Amen. Amen. Stand to your feet tonight. Thank you so very much for coming. Those of you coming from far, I see people from Scott's Head. Amen. Tonight, wherever you came from tonight to be here, those of you from Lubier and the churches that are here tonight supporting, we trust that the Lord would have ministered to you in some way. Amen. And that you have now conditioned your mind to serve the true and the living God. Bow with me tonight as we dismiss. Father, we thank you for your servant, for bringing him to us. Thank you for his ministry. Thank you for the word that you have given to him to deliver tonight. Thank you for the power that you have released in this place. God, we are better because of you. Using your servant in such a way tonight. God, I pray, Lord, we would continue to meditate and we would apply your word to our lives, oh God. Taking your word seriously. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to have your way in our lives, oh God. Not just tonight, but as we leave, oh God, Holy Spirit, go with us. We don't just want to be the natural man, the carnal man. We want to be spiritual. Help us, oh God, to, to lock in there with you. To know and to be able to discern, God, where you want us to be. What you want us to do. Who we are in you, oh God. 
Holy Spirit, take charge of us. Holy Spirit, take a hold of us, oh God. Help us, oh God. So that we are not just natural. We are spiritual as well. Thank you, Father. As we go now, we ask for your guidance. We ask for your protection. We ask, oh God, that you would go with us. Be with us. Take us safely to our various destinations. Bring us back tomorrow again to dwell in your presence, to receive from you, oh God. We thank you, we praise you. In Jesus' name, everybody say, amen. God bless you. Come again tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, right here at the People's Pentecostal Family Church. God bless you.